Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a 3D looking menu which can be used with some simple text which I've made in Photoshop instead of you having to either make something in code or using to build it in with your textures you can make it on sort of like planes to make it easier for you and something more interesting so what I've got in my scene is I've got two planes one named exit, one named play game as you can see at the top and they're both white planes and I've put them near this wall and I've got, an, I got a camera in the scene as well that looks directly at them so if you can see from there but what I'm showing you is with these planes what we're gonna do is I've got two other images that you can create and I've got exit and play game and as you can see from Photoshop all I've done is created a simple bit of text on an 1000 by 256 work workspace and I've put the text as white and then made the background transparent by deleting the background layer and just saving that as a PNG so it, so it holds transparency so what you can do is if you select either of your planes, so your exit plane you can drag your exit um, photo on there and what you want to do is because you can't see anything now because it doesn't have it doesn't know how to translate the transparency on your shaders on the right hand side you can go to transparent cutout diffuse and you can see your text appear because we had a um, alpha transparency in the background sometimes your text will be upside down on the plane so you just need to rotate it around and it'll be fine and you can do the same with play game so apply it transparent cutout diffuse and you get both both pieces of text there looking on your wall whatever you want you can do anything in Photoshop really easy to do so what we want to do is now create a script so you can do something with your main menu because essentially that's what you want to do really. so what we want to do is create a new JavaScript file and you can name that button whatever you want so I'll make that open up my open up mono develop and we can get rid of the two functions at the start so what we're going to do is be able to so when we click the actual um, button themselves they do something so we want to write a new function and put the new function on mouse up and then put your end brackets in then put your two curly brackets on the thing and then put application dot load level and then whatever level you want to go to so we named I named it game so we can save that out and what we can do is we can click on play game and what we can do there is then add the button script to play a game but we'll wait for the exit because we don't need to do that yet and what we can do is if we press play and if we go over the play game and we click on it it says the game couldn't be loaded so it could bring up an error it's because we haven't added this to the build settings that's what you always must remember so I've already added this one before so I'll just add main menu and while I'm here so you make sure you drag them in so when you play the game again press play and it'll go to your um, main, um, other, other scene which works fine but realistically we want to do something that incorporates the quit button and then maybe put some sounds on everything so if we go back to the button script that we've got we want to add um, the quit button so we want to make sure that the game quits so what you can do is we can add an actual if statement in the whole in the whole thing so if we write across here if and then we'll put write a variable here quit button and then we'll open up our curly brackets and then we'll put application dot quit open and close and then you semicolon and then what you want to write is else open up your curly brackets inside the application dot load level so what this says is that if it is a quit button then the application will quit if not then you will load the level so what we want to do is add a variable up here called quit button like we did down below and then have that set 
to a boolean which e which is true or false we'll set it to false at the beginning but if we tick we'll have a little tick box when we go in and we can set that to true and that the class is a actual quit button so we can save that out go back into unity and if we add this script to the actual quit button you see the quit button there if we tick it and that'll make it true and we go on here you won't see anything because I'm actually in the editor but if you built your game you could click it and it would essentially quit and it'll change your script above so you could have either one as a quit button but for now that doesn't matter so you have something basic here which quits if you want to quit it will load a new level based on whatever you want but you might want to add a sound so if we add a new variable above that sound we'll just call it sound if we set that as an audio clip at the top and what we want to do is you don't want to activate the sound when you actually click it you can do if you like so you can add the sound in below but what we can do is add another function called on mouse enter so when your actual mouse enters the actual object we can put audio dot play one shot which means it plays once every time you hover over it and then you put your variable name sound and then add your semicolon you can actually see on either side that there is an actual place to add your audio clip now and what I've already got is I've got a little sound clip which is just essentially like that so it sounds like a little clip so you can drag that in on either or both whatever change it however you want and if you run your game you'll see that it doesn't work and you'll get an error because you haven't added an audio source to them so if you go to component audio audio source and then for exit if you go to component audio audio source you can then click on play and when you hover over you hear the sounds and you can click it just as normally what you can also do with your camera is this if you have if you've got the mouse look script you may need to go import package character controller and if you haven't already got it on your camera you can go to component camera control and mouse look and then on the mouse look you can actually change the sensitivity down to say 3 it's usually set at default at 15 so you can set it to whatever you want and then it will affect how much you can move with your actual camera and you can also change the minimum and maximum values to see how far left, right, up and down that you can actually look with your camera around. But what I like to do is add some components. So I've got two spotlights in my in my scene. And also if you can if you change your render settings and change your ambient light down, and then you press play, um, you can get more of an atmospheric 3D menu for your game and I've shown you how to do flickering lights in another tutorial but thanks for watching cheers